the symbolism of boats. Symbolically, a boat is a means of ecstatic transport. As water is the symbol for spirit, one sails in ecstasy. From William Wordsworth's Peter Bell. There's something in a flying horse, there's something in a huge balloon, but through the clouds I'll never float until I have a little boat in shape just like the crescent moon. As both wind and breath are symbolically equivalent to spiritual energy, a sailboat indicates we are driven by the breath of the gods. A mechanical boat, or a rowing boat, is symbolically not as good, as it means one is travelling on life's journey without help driven only by willpower. Sails, on the other hand, need only skill to handle. Though you do need something with which to steer, else you are rudderless in life, aimless, taken by wind and tide in directions you never intended to go. From Peter Bell by William Wordsworth And now I have a little boat in shape just like the crescent moon. Pass through the clouds my boat can sail, but if perchance your faith should fail, look up and you shall see me soon. If we get inspiration or a real sense of purpose and direction, we use the expression getting wind in our sails. Peter Bell by William Wordsworth Away we go, my boat and I Sure, never man had such another Whether among the winds we strive Or deep into the heavens we drive We're both contented with each other A boat, when seen in dreams or visions indicates one is a traveller on the spiritual path. Other means of transport also indicate the same thing and your progress is indicated by the type. Your dreams can also indicate when you have taken the wrong course, or gone down the wrong road, or even had an accident and made a mistake. From Peter Bell, William Wordsworth Away we go, and what care we for treasons, tumults and for wars? We are as calm in our delight, as is the crescent moon so bright, among the scattered stars. The hero's journey is usually taken in a boat in myths and legends, as it enables the storyteller to give the hero challenges on the way. St. Brendan took the hero's journey, as did Odysseus. Homer's Odyssey is a Greek epic poem that tells of the return journey of Odysseus from the war at Troy. And the poem is divided into 24 books, 
to match the 24-hour clock used to describe the spiritual path. The ancient mariner was on a hero's journey, but failed spectacularly when he killed his guide, the albatross, and became becalmed. So, no spiritual input, and thus motionless. Constellations were once used to help those who could not read or write to remember symbolism. The sky became a blackboard. There was once a constellation called Argo Navis. Argus is the Latin name for the Greek Argos. Argus, king of Argos, was the son of Zeus and Niobe, and thus a god and hero. The constellation is the form of a sailing boat. It is a big constellation and has been divided into subsymbols. Carina, the keel, Puppis, the poop deck and thus the steering wheel, and Vela, with the sails. From whence come the expressions keeping on an even keel, steering on a steady course and, as we have seen, he's got the wind in his sails. You may encounter difficult conditions, opposition and adversity which really test your skill. Or you may even be shipwrecked when the whole project of your journey along the spiritual path gets wrecked by a wrong course of action. Alternatively, up goes my boat between the stars through many a breathless field of light, through many a long blue field of ether, leaving 10,000 stars beneath her. Up goes my little boat, so bright.